I'm still here fighting the good fight, trying to promote good music and pushing the vibe. I'm crying for peace. Got too much love that run and it's been too damn long. Me want it to cease. Cause every 20 seconds, mama lose a son. I will she survive. Yeah, without no family The first time I heard jungle, I was I was a bit. I was it, I, 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 I couldn't really relate to it. I thought this is so you know the the, the the rhythm, the bass lines are still I've got, got that reggae kind of vibe and that slowdown vibe, but the drums are going completely nuts, and I couldn't I couldn't connect it, so I didn't feel it, you know. And it took a couple of songs for me to really get in, and, and two of those songs, one of those songs was um, "I'm a Junglist" by Congo Nati, and another one of those songs was "Sound Murderer" by Remark. You need to go and check out those two tunes. Those two tunes are deadly, and when I heard those two tunes, the light came on. Boom. Jungle is wicked. I love this. And, and, and from that point on, I kind of got into jungle and then I linked up with Shy FX through UK Apache. So up until 2010, most people did not know who I was. They, didn't, they heard my voice and they knew my voice, but they didn't know who I was. And like, even when I met Brian G in 2010, Brian G is a legend in, in jungle drum and bass and he's been known, everyone knows who Brian G is. And when I met Brian in 2010, and I, at that stage I'd already had seven number ones in Jungle, Brian G still didn't know who I was. He had no idea who I was, but he knew my voice. So that's when, at that stage, I, I spoke to him and I said, I want to make an album. And, um, and he said, well, I'd, I'd be happy to put the album out on V. So that's when I actively started raising my profile as an artist and saying, listen, the voice that you've heard all this time is this guy over here called me, David Bummer. You know what I mean? Like, and that's when I started actually trying to push myself as an artist. And that's when I did the album with V. Real music for real people. <laughs> I've, you know, I've recognised, I've been in meetings where people are saying, can you make your music more commercial? And I've had to say, no, I can't. I understand that if you want your music to go wider, you have to make it accessible. And I'm happy to make it accessible, but there's a limit to where I have to say, I can't do anything more than that, because that to me is like, not me anymore. So many people end up doing jobs that they, that they actually really dislike, but they do it to get paid. Um, I feel like I have to do something that I can feel, that I can enjoy, but really we don't need money to survive. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, bad, man. The album with V, that, um, that was called One World Many Cultures. Um, I really enjoyed making it. It took a while to get there. Um, and like I was saying, it, it was a, it was a, a multi-genre album, which I think is the first time V has ever done something like that. Yeah. Um, and I was very fortunate to get to travel to many, many countries. To um, off the back of this album, I went to India, Guatemala, LA, New York, Buffalo, Brazil, um, Switzerland, Lithuania. Um, and I'm sure there's places I'm missing out, but you, 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 you get the idea. And to think that, I mean, I never imagined that I would be able to do that you know, um, through my music. I always thought, now nah, the music's not gonna work. Just stick to your youth work and keep your head down and, and do that. But then the moment that I actually did say, right, I'm gonna believe in myself as an artist. I'm gonna do this album. I'm gonna put it out there and I'm gonna say I'm doing an international tour and I'm gonna see what happens. And the moment that I did that, it actually happened. So I'm quite, like I said, I'm quite excited about the single and um, it, comes out on Beatport on the 23rd of May. So we've got the Battery remix, then we've got the Hypertone remix, which is a very smooth, suave R&B vibe, a house remix from some of my friends in Switzerland, in Bern, and then there is finally a mix, a garage mix from N-Type. What I've been doing recently, and what I've always wanted to do, is, is not to be put in a box. It's always, I'm always trying to, to to do different things. Uh, today I've had now 14 number ones on the ground. So many people that I know my age are, are no longer here, you know, um, and so I'm just grateful to still be, still be around, still doing what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm past it yet, I don't feel too tired. So I'm just grateful to be here and I'm looking forward to every day that God sends. Cause every 20 seconds, mama lose a son, how will she survive? Without no family, drug up, lost that low income.